Hey, have you seen my keys? Your keys are where you always put it at. Where? <sighs> In coordinates 3-9. Three, 3-9. Nine. Three, nine. Oh! Thanks. Plotting points is used to label specific points in a graph. Believe it or not, it's used in a lot of places like maps, even in chess, and even looking for my keys. A coordinate plane is just a fancy word for the graph. It's the whole graph. The graph, the coordinate plane, has an x-axis, which is this line right here that goes left and right. Everything to the right of zero is positive and everything to the left of zero is negative. It also has a y-axis. The y-axis from zero, everything above is positive and everything below is negative. A coordinate is just a point. A point, a coordinate, has an X number and a Y number. The origin, oh, that's the center of the graph. And the last word that I wanna talk about are quadrants. Quadrants are the areas of where your points are at. Anything in this quadrant is quadrant one. Anything in this quadrant is quadrant two. Everything in this quadrant is in quadrant three. And everything in this quadrant is quadrant four. Four. Let's go plot some points now. Before we get started, I just want to point out that there is a free worksheet. If you hit the description button below, it will help you follow along with this video a lot easier if you print it out. Also, if your teacher is making you watch this, I'm sorry. Let's just make the best out of it, and I promise this video is going to help you. In example one, we are going to label points for each of these favorite characters that I watched growing up. Let's start with that first character right here. Her name's Lisa Simpson. In order to label points, the first thing you wanna do is go to Lisa and look down right until you get to that green line. And that will be your X number. Each coordinate, each point has two numbers and they are written in parentheses like that, separated by a comma. The first number is that X number. And we just said the X number is four. So that is the number that you're gonna write right here. The other number that you're gonna look at is the y-axis. That will tell you the second number to put in those parentheses. So that would be three, and that is your y number. That is it, that is it, that is how you label points. Let's do that again with my man Naruto right here. One of my favorite animes. So first, you're gonna look at where Naruto's at, he's right here and you're gonna look down to see where he's at on the x-axis. That is a negative four. That is the number that we're putting for the x-coordinate. Again, there are two coordinates, one for x and one for y. Naruto is also at three on the y-axis. So that is the number that you're gonna put right here. And that's it. Let's go to Pikachu next. Pikachu is this Pokemon right here. Used to watch that all the time. If you're getting mixed around, just think about it this way. X comes before Y in the alphabet. So you gotta look at the X number first, which is right on this X axis. And if you look up, that is one. That is the number that you're gonna put right here. And if you look on the Y axis, make sure you look that that's a negative number. That is negative four. The last one is Goku, the strongest guy in the world. If I look at Goku, first look at the X axis. That is at negative three. That is the first number that you're gonna put right here. And if you look at the y-axis, just look at the y-axis from where Goku's at. That is negative one. That is the second number that you're gonna put right here. To determine what quadrant they're in. And as long as they're not on an x and y-axis, they belong in a specific quadrant. We'll discuss that later on. But let's start with Lisa. She's in this section. So if you guys remember from the first slide, that is just quadrant one. If I look at Naruto, he's on this side. That is quadrant two. If I look at Pikachu, Pikachu's right at the bottom right there. And that is quadrant four. I try to trick you and mix them around. And the last guy, Goku, quadrant three. Here's an easy way to remember your quadrants. It makes a C pattern. When I draw my C's, I start from the top all the way to the bottom. That first section where you put your C is one, two, and then you follow it in that order. One, two, three, four, 
That is how I draw my C's. Let's try plotting some points. When you are plotting points, it gives you instructions two different directions of where that point is gonna be located. So first you're gonna start at the center. The biggest mistake that I see right here is that people mark this with two separate points. This just represents one point with two directions. If that's confusing, here's what I mean. And I color coded it so you don't get lost. That three right here tells you that you're gonna start at the center and go on the x-axis, which is that green line, to the right three because it's positive. One, two, three. Do not mark your point there yet. You gotta follow both directions. So now we gotta pay attention to that number two. The two, since it's positive, means to go up two spaces. One, two. So let me repeat that, start in the center, three to the right, and then go up to. That is where you're gonna mark your point, and we're gonna call that L, L for Lisa. Let's try this again with Naruto. Two different directions. We're gonna start at the center. The negative eight, this time it's negative. And from the first slide, we said, if it's negative, go to the left and count eight spaces. And stop until you get to negative eight. Now it's a positive one. That one tells me to go up one space along the y-axis, and I'm gonna mark my point right there. So we're gonna label that N for Naruto. If you wanna check your answers, all you gotta do is go to the point, and if I go down the x-axis, that says negative eight, which matches that number right there. And on the y-axis, that says one, which matches that coordinate right there. So, so far, so good, we're doing this right. Next, we go to Pikachu. We start with negative six. I'm gonna take the letters away now. Let's see if you can do this without the letters. Start at the center. The negative six tells me to go to the left six spaces. And then the positive six, since it's positive, tells me to go up six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna label that P for Pikachu. The last point, my man Goku, negative nine, negative four, start at the center. The first number, negative nine, tells me to go nine spaces to the left because it's negative. Negative four on the y-axis is somewhere at the bottom. Four spaces, count four spaces. One, two, three, four. That is where you're gonna mark that target to represent Goku, G for Goku. Just to review the quadrants, Lisa is in quadrant one. That's this first section right here. Naruto is in quadrant two. What quadrant is Pikachu at? That's still quadrant two. And the last one is Goku. Goku is in quadrant three. Example three is one of the things that confuses people the most. And here is the easiest way to do this. Mario is right on the Y axis. If you look at him, he's on the Y axis and he is at number three. That is the number that you're gonna put. So if he's on the Y axis, you're gonna put three for the letter Y and the other one will just be zero. That is it, that is it. That's the easiest way for me to explain this. So now let's look at Sonic. Let's try that once again. There's an X and Y coordinate, right? Sonic this time is on the X axis and he's at negative four. So it's the X number that will get negative four. If they're ever on the X and Y axis, the other number is gonna be zero. Let's try to plot this guy from among us. This is your X number and your Y number. Since it's this letter that has the number Y negative four, and this one says zero, all you gotta do is look at the Y axis, which is this line right here, since it's this letter that has negative four, we're gonna put them on the Y axis, find negative four, and you are done, that's it. If any points are on the X and Y axis, they do not belong in any quadrant. I know I sound a little sus right now, but it is that easy. I wanna introduce you guys to my family. These two in orange are my kids, and these two right here in blue are my niece and nephew. Don't cheat, pause the video, try it out, and when you're done, just unpause the video for the answers.
Here are the answers for the example problem. I tried to trick you with Jasper and Josephine, my niece and nephew. So you want to look, if there is a zero in one of these, just look at the one with the number on it, x at negative 3. And all you got to do is look at the x-axis, find negative 3, and zero means they don't go up and down. So Jasper would be right here. Do the same for Josephine. It is the y number that has the number. So negative 4, 0 would be right there. And they do not belong in any of the quadrants. Jasper's at the x-axis, Josephine's on the y-axis. I made this video a long time ago, and if it's still boring, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I tried my best. Anyways, if you liked the video and it helped you, throw me a like and a subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you need more math help. And whoever gets 15 likes first, that is the video that I will do next, I promise. Keep up the good work, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace!